If you guys are wondering how you can get out of New Paradigm finally with your Ether, here's how you can do it, but it's not going to be cheap because these guys are only going to let you withdraw back to Ethereum network. So, first of all, I tried to claim my airdrop, my pathetic little airdrop, and I can't even do that because you see it's all grayed out. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. I have plenty of gas to pay for it, but it won't let me claim. At least let's get our Ether out. So, it's really makes no sense but you click on bridge more and when you click on bridge more look there's the option to actually withdraw then you hit withdraw then make sure you're on manta pacific uh, network in your metamask then you can hit max and then you have the opportunity to withdraw so i hit withdraw here and i will get like for like stone for stone but it's going to go from manta pacific onto ethereum and it's going to take one minute to complete how much is that going to cost me big question so let's confirm the withdrawal and here comes the metamask and here comes the cost so this is 28.99 currently that's the feed slot the gas cost is the feed that they charge me for it because the current gas price is around 30 way so yeah and that's not even the end of it so when i go back here i'm just gonna go ahead and reject this because i do not feel like paying 29 uh, which is actually <laughs> probably if i was even able to claim my airdrops would be half of my airdrop but let's just reject this and um, i actually put in 0 0.3 ETH, but i already sold 0 0.1 ETH uh, via aperture swap so i've uh, just rejected that because um it makes no sense for me to do that i can actually go to our aperture and simply make sure I'm on manta pacific network and then i can um and i can go ahead and just i can go one stone currently will fetch me 1.006 whereas if i go via their system if i go if i first take stone out of manta pacific into ethereum and then i try and um, swap stone for actual ethereum on the ethereum mainnet if i do that this is what i'm going to get 1.0112 so there is a small 0.006 um, difference which is like 0.6 percent which for me it makes no sense if you have a lot of eth maybe that makes sense for you for me it makes no sense this would cost me about four or five dollars at current uh, ethereum prices whereas there i would be paying about thirty dollars to do it uh, the way they designed it so it makes no sense to do it their way this whole entire thing has been a complete and utter disaster uh but uh, i waited all this time to get out and really you know there, you can definitely get a better price now on aperture we were paying about two to four to four five six seven percent depending on how far out you wanted to do the swap but um not now it's it's a fairly uh, even uh exchange rate but you're still getting a small hit if you do it via the swap instead of via their own system but it makes no sense to do it via their portal because it just charges you the fee is too high because you have to go back into ethereum now if you want to end up in ethereum maybe that's worthwhile for you i don't want to go back to ethereum i want to stay in on other networks so i'm just going to go ahead and use orbiter to go into other networks once i get my um, uh, ethereum back out of stone now you can of course stake stone and you can do other stuff with it uh, that's also an option so don't forget about that and uh, you can also stake manta and there's all that ecosystem there if you want to play with it but i'm currently fed up with these guys and i'm gonna go and try and look for some greener pastures so yeah that's how this works